Okay, awesome. And you're going to actually hear a few of the same things that you heard in the GO plan. So I'll be happy to elaborate a little bit more as I go into this. So thank you, Mayor Bartlett, Councilman Ewing, and all city councilors for giving me the opportunity to present Bike Share as a vision proposal. Last year, the city of Tulsa partnered with NCOG in order to hire a consultant, Alta Planning, to help us go through a feasibility study and business plan process to look into bike share here in Tulsa. Alta is a nationally recognized planning and design firm, and they've established bike share in all of the communities that you see in this picture. And so we were very happy to have their expertise coming into what we were doing. We had an advisory committee that was very diverse. Um, it consisted of members of the Tulsa, Tulsa Regional Chamber, the City of Tulsa Engineering and Planning Department, the Transportation Advisory Board, the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee, Ty Pros, Wallace Engineering, TCC, OSU, TU, Convention and Visitors Bureau, George Kaiser Family Foundation, Metro Tulsa Hotel and Lodging Association, Downtown Coordinating Council, Cambar Properties, Tulsa Community Foundation, and Tulsa Transit. <sighs> So what does bike share look like? If you will look at the left, the movable modular system is best demonstrated by what you see on the river, the Tulsa Towny program. I don't know if you guys have seen the little pink bikes um, running around Tulsa. That is what that system consists of. The middle is the permanently mounted. It's actually bolted into the concrete and it's an older style of system that most cities are going away from. Um, and the third is a smart lock social bicycle system where the brains, if you will, the GPS locator and the data are on the bicycle instead of in the station. So it provides for some flexibility within the system, but it's such a newer technology. There are some pros and cons to um, knowing what that cost will be in the future as you um, roll it out. So the advisory committee was uh, moving or leaning towards the movable modular system for what we're wanting to do here in Tulsa. Um, so the orange section of the map is phase one, 12 stations, 108 bikes. The blue section is phase two, um, same amount, 12 stations, 108 bikes. And you can see on the map um, that that is shown with the Go Plan draft networks of where those um, cycle tracks and bike lanes that Joni was talking about will intersect with where these bike stations are being located. So who are our users? Uh, local residents, business district commuters, college students, and visitors and tourists that come to Tulsa. So what are our vision goals? These are the goals that we're gonna be meeting with vision to put bike share in. Health, improved individual and community health through active transportation. Um, economic development, it improves access to business and helps brand our city. The quote is in Washington, D.C., more than eight out of 10 said they were more likely to visit a business sh uh, shop or restaurant with easy access to a bike sharing dock in Governing Magazine. Uh, quality of life. Uh, another quote, last year's United States Conference of Mayors concluded that communities that have invested in pedestrian and bicycle projects have benefited from improved quality of life, healthier populations, greater local real estate values, more local travel choices, and reduced air pollution in The Economist. Another goal is it attracts and retains a workforce. The early adopters of bike sharing systems are young professionals, mostly between the ages of 25 and 34 years old. And then obviously it's the transportation and connectivity. It supplements our transit system. We like to say it's a last mile connection for the areas that fixed route service are not able to meet. So who's gonna own and operate this system? We looked extensively into private, public, and nonprofit models across the country and took in consideration Tulsa's strengths and weaknesses and what it is that would bo uh, boost a community system best. And we found that a nonprofit owned and operated system would be the best option for Tulsa. Um, so the overall summary is it would be 24 stations and 216 bikes implemented in two Wait phases. Minute. And um, phase one and two will be about $3.2 million. You'll notice that my ask is 2.5 because we already have funding coming in for the operations of the first several years of the system. So all we're asking for is capital costs for phases. Um, let's go ahead and skip. So we'll be hitting in the middle of this where there's 100% private and public. We wanna have a public-private partnership. So that's what the vision proposal is, is the public side of that partnership. And then on the second, the private side, we've made several presentations and have a lot of potential funders who are lining up and we're starting to go into the contract negotiations with as sponsorships. 30 seconds. Um, so several of those are One Oak, Warren Foundation, Lobeck, Taylor, Tulsa City County Library, Community Care, and then obviously crossover from our advisory committee organizations, all given sponsorship models based off of the graph that you see on the right, title sponsors, presenting sponsors, et cetera, to help with the gap funding costs.